there, so I'm pretty sure I'm the last YouTuber to ever complete the first time tag, but my friend Luke tagged me in it about a year ago, so here you go, Luke. The answer to all your questions about the first time I've done some things. Let's get started. Who was your first friend? My first friend's name was Joey. He lived next to me. I used to go to his house to play video games all the time, especially when my dad would tell me I wasn't allowed to play any. So my dad would call up Joey's mom and be like, Make sure my son does not play any video games. And she'd be like, okay, hang up. Hey, Evan, make sure you play any video games you want because I don't like your dad. Yeah, Mrs. Joey's mom. You're the best. Thanks a lot. However, Joey was a big sore loser, so once I got my own set of video games, I didn't really hang out with him that much. What was your first pet? My first pet was a calico cat named Chloe. It was big, and it was 18 years old, and it was deaf, and it was blind, but it was furry, and it would purr so loudly, and loved it so much, until my evil neighbor decided to put it on the fence and it fell into a dog cage and the dog killed my cat. And that's why you can't have nice things. It's a very sad story, I know. I cried quite a freaking lot, believe me. What was your first word? Well, I think I'm gonna have to call up my mom. Hold on. How come you can't remember? You got better memory than I do. I was a baby? <laughs> vacuum. Vacuum. Good. It was B-A. B-A-C-U-M. Vacuum. Ba with a B as in butt? Yeah, B as in butt. Vacuum. Thanks for the information, bye. What was your first concert? I actually made a video about my first concert because it was very traumatizing. I'll put that one in the outro if you want to watch that later. What was your first film? My first film was actually Lion King. I saw it in theaters when it first came out and I freaking cried so much. I cried on the way home from Lion King. I cried when I got home. My parents were like, what did you take him to see, Grandma? And she'd be like, it was a Disney movie. And I was like, Mufasa! <laughs> what was your first kiss? My first kiss was like when I was 18 and I had no clue about anything, but I didn't go straight for the tongue, okay? I went straight for the tonsils, man. What was wrong with me? Oh my god. It was blah, 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 blah. What was your first job? I got a job when I was 17 years old working at a pizza restaurant. I'm sure you all know this by now. I've been waiting to make a video about all the funny stuff that happened to me while I was a waiter, but I guess you're just gonna have to wait for that. <laughs> Who was your first celebrity crush? Um, Hilary Duff. I'm pretty sure everyone's first crush was Hilary Duff. Ah, <sighs> Lizzie McGuire. My bae. What was the first video you uploaded to YouTube? The first video I uploaded to YouTube was when I was like 17, and uh, it kind of featured Legend of Zelda. I'll have a clip here, but I won't give you the link, because it's from Legend of Zelda. It looks a little inappropriate. I thought it was so funny. YouTube viral gold right there. No, no. <laughs> what was your first cell phone? I had to wait till I was 17 years old till I got my own cell phone because my parents kept convincing me that I didn't need one, but I was like, I need one so I can have friends and I can text them. And that's when I was into texting, you know, 17 to 18. And then eventually I was like, this is dumb. I'd rather just give someone a call and be like, yo, what's up? But now everyone's still texting and I'm the only one calling! I miss my little tiny virgin mobile flip phone though. What was your first book? Well, the first book that I can remember really getting into was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Philosopher's Stone! If you're English and you just really want to freak out in the comment section. I was in my house, I came home from school, and there it was, sitting on the couch. I was like, what's this book? So I just started reading it. I get halfway through it and I'm like, this is the best freaking book I've read. And my mom's like, Oh, I'm glad you like that book, because uh, your grandma gave it to your brother, and he said he hated it. And I was like, this is the best! And now I'm addicted to Harry Potter. Here's the proof! I'm holding a wand to this entire video. What was your first video game? The first video game I ever played was Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, and I still love that game to death. It is so cool and such a nice little platformer, and I can now beat it in like under 20 minutes, but to get it 100%, I take my time, okay? That is definitely still one of my favorites. I remember I was so bad at the level Butter Bridge that my mom had to beat it for me. I was like, Mommy, Butter Bridge! And she would like hold the run button for me so I could jump because I just didn't have big enough thumbs, I guess. But Butter Bridge did give me many nightmares. What was your first car? I got my first car when I first turned 16 and my stepdad's like, here you go, a Ford friggin' Mustang. And you know what I said? I don't need to drive. So we sold it. And then I realized at 17, I wanted to drive, so I got myself a Buick. Old man car. Yeah, it got me all the old ladies. And you know what? The good thing is, no cop pulls over someone in a Buick, because it's like, oh, it's probably just an old man. Let's just leave him be. So I guess I got lucky. What was the first album you ever bought? I was really late to the music game. Like, I didn't start listening to music till I was 16 slash 17. So the first album I bought was The Bird and the B-Sides, which was like a B-Sides album by Reliant K, and I was all about it. And then I bought everything else they'd ever made because, ugh. And then I almost got sued, so, yeah. What was the first online date you ever went on? 
I went on one online date a couple months ago and it was probably gonna be the last because even though we seemed compatible, she just didn't talk at all. Like, I had to keep prompting conversation and the only way I could consider, like, actually going out with someone is if we have a constant flow of conversation. There's always stuff to talk about. You know, like, when you click with someone? We didn't click at all. It was really awkward. And then when she was like, oh, you wanna split the bill? And I was like, yeah, sure. She was like, well, I forgot my wallet. And I was like, ooh, then why would you ask? Oh. Man, so, so ox. Well, those are my firsts. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. <laughs> that was the worst use of a fun in this video, but thank you. I hope you enjoyed a little bit more insight into my personal life, and thank you for watching the video. I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. of my own wand.